Welcome to ear training practice. We are going to be working on perfect intervals, including perfect octaves, perfect fifths, and perfect fourths. If you are confused about all of this stuff, I recommend you watch this video in the corner first, because that will introduce you to this concept and what we're working on. In this video, we will be practicing ascending, descending, and stacked intervals of perfect fourths, fifths, and octaves. I will give you five seconds to listen to one example twice, and then I will reveal the answer to you. If you're serious about ear training and making sure that you can hear these intervals, I really recommend that you sing what you heard so you can feel how it is in your voice. In the previous video, I gave you some examples that you can use to help align yourself with what those intervals really sound like. So use those to your advantage if you want to learn these things. Let's get started. We're going to start with ascending intervals. I'm going to give you 10 examples of ascending intervals. Your choices are going to be perfect octave, perfect fifth, or perfect fourth. Example one. That is a perfect octave. Example two. Example three. Example four. Example five. Example six. Example seven. Example eight. Example nine. Example 10. In this second segment, I will be playing descending intervals. Again, your choices are perfect octave, perfect fifth, or perfect fourth. Example 1. Example two. Example three. Example four. Example 
example five. Example six. Example seven. Example eight. Example nine and example ten. In this third segment, I will be playing both notes at the same time. Again, I will play the example, and I'll play it twice. I'll let you wait five seconds after each of them. I recommend trying to pick out and sing both notes. After that, I'm going to play the notes in ascending order, just so you can self-assess if you were singing the right notes. And then I will give you the answer. Example one. Example two. Example three. Example four. Example five. Example six. Example seven. Example eight. Example nine. Example ten. Again, just like any discipline, this takes a lot of practice. If you're not used to hearing sounds and identifying them a certain way, this can take a little while 
Do not be discouraged if you had trouble with this. This is a very difficult group of intervals to identify. But we start with these ones because they're open and they are the basis of our chords. If you have a keyboard or, or some kind of instrument that can help you practice intervals at home and practice hearing those things, and you need some guidance on how to put intervals together, I do have a video right here that you can check out. Until next time, stay mindful, stay musical, and stay out of trouble.